Nurses at Oroville Hospital are still working to get a better contract. Action News Network reporter Camille Acevedo was there last month when the RNs picketed out front, and she joins us there now live. So, Camille, are they making progress in negotiations with the hospital? Not at the moment, Haley. One male nurse that actually works here at the hospital tells me that the California Nurses Association and the Oroville Hospital here has not came into agreement yet in terms of those contract negotiations. Now, I would like to add that that contract was extended on until January 31st, and then it expired in February. It is frustrating. You know, there is, you know, we continue to have some moral despair over, you know, the lack of uh, movement. Eric Smith is a registered nurse at Oroville Hospital, but before that, he was an EMS. He got his start at a volunteer fire department. That's when he realized he had a passion to help people. So I discovered that I had an aptitude for it and a love for it, um, for helping people in some of their um, uh, most times of most distress and most need. Um, so I, I decided to, to uh, further my career and, and go in, into the nursing environment. Smith is one of the many nurses who were out picketing last month to improve the hospital's working conditions and for better pay. Representing the group of nurses is the CNA. Smith says not much has changed since the picket. He and others are still claiming inadequate staffing levels that puts patient care at risk. It, it's, it continues to be a, a struggle. You know, we, we still, um, we still, show up and we give the best patient care that we possibly can given um, difficult circumstances to, to work with. But I have reached out to the hospital several times, even went inside hoping to speak to someone about these claims nurses are making. No one has gotten back to me just yet. Smith says nothing has changed in the contract. The group is seeking more nurse staffing for the patients, better wages and better retention efforts. I, I'm committed to staying, you know, um, I, you know, I, I like, I, I love the Butte County community um, and I love, I love the people that I work with. And I actually just heard back from the hospital and they are sticking to their initial statement that they made uh, back in February 15th, the day of the picket. Now, um, I have that a comment from that uh, statement here on my phone. If you don't mind, I'm just going to read it really quick. As a nonprofit rural community hospital, when determining wage increases, we must take into consideration the financial framework in which the hospital operates in, including the consideration of wages and other hospital employees. Again, that is the initial statement that the hospital says they are continuing to stick by. Live in Oroville, I'm Camille Osvedo for Action News Now, coverage you can count on. Okay, thanks Camille. The CNA currently represents 390 nurses at that hospital.